Ineos Review has revealed a surprisingly key figure for Manchester United next season. Eric Ten Hag will remain in charge of Man United next season and now needs to make his signings work and deliver a successful campaign. As Ineos weighed up the future of Eric Ten Hag during their end-of-season review at Manchester United, they considered several factors. There were positives for Ten Hag, and there was mitigation, reasons for a desperate Premier League campaign that can be rectified next season. Those focused primarily on injury issues, but also a sense that the business done in the 2023 summer transfer window was with an eye on long-term results. There was an acceptance that Andre Onana and Rasmus Hodgland took time to settle and that Mason Mount's season was wrecked through injury. Ineos expect that there is more to come from the 163mm trio and that the full benefit of that investment is yet to be felt. Onana certainly improved as the campaign went on, and Hodgland had a couple of spells where it looked like he was ready to lead the line. The greatest disappointment will be reserved for Mount, who started the season slowly after his 55-meter move from Chelsea, lost his place in the team, and then struggled with his fitness. If there are reasons for Onana and Hodgland to take time to settle into a new league and a new country, it was expected that the England international would hit the ground running in midfield. Instead, he managed just 20 appearances and 8 starts for the club, contributing a solitary goal and assist. His only start after November 1st came in the 4-0 defeat to Crystal Palace towards the end of the season, and he only came on in the 89th minute in the FA Cup final at Wembley. The midfield didn't exactly thrive without him, but that was down to structural issues as much as personnel. The role he was signed for has now been filled by Kabi Mainu, a definite positive for Ten Hag, and Mount has a challenge to get back into the team. Mainu has become an updrawable presence in the center of the pitch and Bruno Fernandes is a guaranteed starter. A new holding midfielder is likely to arrive this summer. That means Mount's role for now is likely to be off the bench. There is no way Ineos will give up on a 55 minute or signing, however. And if he does flop again for a second successive season, then it will reflect poorly on Ten Hag's judgment. The manager pushed hard to sign him having followed him since a loan spell in the Eredivisie seven years ago. In a way, Mount has become a key figure during the end-of-season review. When Sir Jim Ratcliffe met Thomas Tuckle, the former Chelsea boss pointed to the success he had in getting the best out of Mount at Stamford Bridge and said he could repeat that trick at Old Trafford. Mount played the best football of his career under Tuchel and created the winning goal in the 2021 Champions League final. The promise of extracting more from a key signing wasn't enough to land Tuchel the job, but the mention of Mount as a factor in the mitigation for last season's performance levels still feels telling. It is now on Ten Hag to get the most out of the 25-year-old, as a player still yet to reach his theoretical prime and an England international signed for big money. There is pressure on Mount to deliver value. Ten Hag signed him to knit his midfield together, and although his first season ended up as a write-off, it's clear there is now a demand to make this deal a success in Season 2. Eric Ten Hag's continued tenure at Manchester United for the upcoming season signals a period of opportunity and expectation. With his position secured, the focus now shifts decisively towards making strategic signings that complement his vision and strengthen the squad's competitiveness across all competitions. Having laid the groundwork with his tactical acumen and meticulous approach, Ten Hag faces the crucial task of integrating new signings seamlessly into his system. Each acquisition must not only enhance the team's quality, but also align with the style of play and culture he aims to instill at Old Trafford. The upcoming campaign represents more than just a challenge. It's a chance for Eric Ten Hag to imprint his mark on Manchester United's footballing identity. Success will hinge not only on individual player performances, but also on fostering a cohesive team dynamic that thrives under his guidance. For United fans and stakeholders, there's a palpable sense of anticipation as they look to Ten Hag to deliver results and restore the club's tradition of excellence. With his proven track record and commitment to progressive football, the stage is set for Ten Hag to navigate the pressures of elite competition, 
and steer Manchester United towards reclaiming their place at the summit of English and European football. As the transfer window unfolds and preparations intensify, Eric Ten Hag's leadership will be scrutinized and supported in equal measure again and again. Man United rejected? Matthias Cunha drops hint about future amid 60 million euros transfer links to Red Devils. Matthias Cunha has suggested he is in no rush to leave Wolves amid transfer links to Manchester United. What happened? United are looking to bolster their attack following the departure of Anthony Marshall at the end of his contract. Cunha has been heavily linked with the Red Devils, but would cost a sizable fee to prize him away from Wolves. What Cunha said. After traveling to watch his beloved Botafogo in Brazil, Cunha was asked about his future and said, We see this rush, Manchester United, but I'm very happy at Wolves. My focus is on resting and making the most of it with my family. I'm very happy at Wolves. The focus now is to have better seasons and help the club. God willing, I will continue on this path. The Bigger Picture When fit, the 25-year-old was arguably the best player in the Midlands, and he finished the campaign with 12 goals and 7 assists. Having only arrived permanently last summer, Kuna may be in no rush to leave Wolves and is contracted at Molyneux until 2027. What next for Kuna? Cunha has been left out of Brazil's Copa America squad for the summer, despite his impressive campaign. The forward has suffered from a few injury issues in 2024, but may consider whether a move to a bigger club would strengthen his case for a spot with his country in future tournaments. Matthias Cunha's hint about his future amidst transfer links to Manchester United, coupled with reports of the Red Devils' rejection, adds intrigue to the summer transfer window saga. The Brazilian forward's comments suggest that while United may have expressed interest in securing his services for a reported 60 million euros, there are indications that a deal may not materialize. Cunha's hint about his future leaves fans speculating about his potential destination, with the rejection from Manchester United prompting questions about the club's transfer strategy and priorities. While the Red Devils are known for their pursuit of top talent, their decision to pass on Cunha raises eyebrows and sparks debate among pundits and supporters alike. The Brazilian's comments may fuel speculation about alternative suitors vying for his signature, with other clubs potentially entering the fray to secure his services. As the transfer window unfolds, Cunha's future remains uncertain, with the possibility of a move to a different club gathering momentum. For Manchester United, the rejection of Cunha signals a shift in focus or a calculated decision based on various factors such as valuation, squad requirements, and long-term planning. While the Red Devils continue to scour the market for reinforcements, their approach to the transfer window comes under scrutiny amidst competition from rival clubs and heightened expectations from fans. As the saga surrounding Cunha's future continues to unfold, Manchester United and their supporters await further developments in the transfer market with the potential for twists and turns as the club seeks to strengthen their squad ahead of the new season. Matthias Cunha's response to questions about his future sheds light on his current mindset and priorities amidst the swirling transfer rumors, particularly linking him to Manchester United. The Brazilian forward's words convey a sense of contentment and stability in his current situation, suggesting that he is not actively seeking a move away from his current club, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Cunha's assertion that he is very happy at Wolves indicates a strong attachment to his current club, highlighting the positive environment and support he has found there. His focus on resting and spending time with his family underscores the importance of personal well-being and work-life balance, demonstrating a grounded and mature approach to his career. While acknowledging the interest from Manchester United and perhaps other clubs, Kuna's comments suggest that he is not allowing himself to be swayed by external pressures or speculation. 
Instead, he remains committed to his current team and is intent on making the most of his time off to recharge and reconnect with loved ones. For Wolverhampton Wanderers fans, Kana's words may come as a reassuring sign of his dedication to the club and his role within the team. His statement also serves as a reminder of the importance of player happiness and fulfillment beyond the football pitch, emphasizing the human side of the game. As the transfer window progresses, Kunha's stance could potentially impact the dynamics of any potential negotiations between clubs. However, for now, his focus remains firmly on his personal well-being and enjoying precious moments with his family, signaling a grounded and balanced approach to navigating the uncertainties of the footballing world.